What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today we're playing a control, you can call it mid-range, uh, sort of deck with super brains. The idea is to use conjures in order to control your opponent and then finish them off with Pogo Mug Blob. Uh, for the blob, we do have a couple of brain vendors. The brain vendor can also be used together. You know, this will give you three extra brains. Blob, of course, evolves on something and gets one extra attack. So really good even without brain vendor. You can teleport this in, running four teleports, uh, and then use a bonus attack. Sort of the justification for using Super Brains over Huge Giganticus is because of Carried Away. Uh, this will be a really good uh, card for doing that extra bonus tech, particularly with the Blob. Now, uh, so for the early game, you know, you can go like Tell Imps, you can go, you know, Pirate. So we're going to actually be trying um, sort of a Conjure package with four Space Times, three Barrel of Barrels. So we'll see if we can get value from these. Um, Especially like with the imp throwing imp and the imps that are being chucked around the field, sometimes a deadly will really, really work. Uh, and we are running the uh, Raptors. The Raptors in itself is an extremely powerful card. You can just play this on three, pogo whatever they play in front of it on turn four, and then like do a bonus attack on five. And like by that time, this thing can sometimes just have ten attack and win the game. Now, uh, running laser base alphas in order to activate again your blobs, your uh, Raptors, and your even your space time on two, and then laser on three. That'll conjure your card. So you can really control by spamming the field. Now, again, we're not running that many conjures. But even just the little cards, this also gives you small cards always, which is kind of cool. So it helps you just fill the lane so you don't die until you can really set up your blob. Those little minions are also very good as a base for your blob to evolve uh, in order to get that extra attack. Um, so on turn one, I was going to like run Imposter as a control card, but like it doesn't really control anything on turn one. If you spam Imposter on the field, like they'll just play another guy in a different lane. It doesn't really fit with the theme of this deck, even though there's a little conjure synergy. You kind of like have to have your space time set up first in order for that to work. So instead, uh, a little bit of a new idea, actually running two copies of Chimney Sweep. So this actually is the only one drop, in my opinion, in Super Brain's kit that needs to really be answered on one, with the exception of Mini Ninja, but this loses trades. Uh, this will uh, at least even trade. So you play this on Heights, if they don't answer it, this is doing a lot of damage for a one drop. Uh, so that's the uh, justification. And if they play a one drop and you don't have this, then you can actually stick Imp Throwing Imp in front of the minion they played on one. So this is sort of your turn one control play. It's a little bit weird, but this will actually get you ahead. It usually even trades with whatever they play on one and then spams two other Imps to clog other lanes. Uh, around uh, essentially helping you clog lanes and win the game you can teleport in your space time there's gonna be a lot of really cool combos in the stack hope you guys enjoy let's get into it again it's not like a proper control deck and it's not a proper conjure deck it's kind of a little bit of both we're doing bets <clears throat> if you think this deck has a chance of going eight and two vote yes i think it does and if not, vote no. Voting starts now. Kind of a little bit of a new... I mean, it has Pogo Mugs, so... You can't really go wrong. Um... Anyway. Again, brain... Like, you can go Brain Vendor Mug. It pops out, gives you three brains, and you have things suspended on. You have laser bases and bonus attacks and... And barrel of barrels. I'm gonna get rid of this for now. I think we're just looking for early game here. And we got two blobs. Running three. Shut up. Come on, forget me nuts. Good enough. Even if this trades with a berry blast and gives us another card. Definitely take it. It's nice when they have a two health guy, because then this throws two M's. Now it only throws one. But it's fine. What? <laughs> that was such a bad play. You're giving me this dies anyway, and now you're giving me a second hit, bro. He really wanted this to live. Like, he's going to berry blast it. Now. I don't get it. I don't understand. <laughs> Hope he's not running sour grapes. That would suck. I could really just go for the 3-4 here. <laughs> I think I'll do this next turn. I'll just, like, cover this. Um, This, I think we want this on the ground. Because it's definitely hitting this turn. Uh, no block meter problems. And laser base alpha actually activates this when it's on the ground. That's fine. I can just go blob deadly right now. Again, we don't really want this 1-3. I mean, maybe to play around berries, though. Maybe we do. I don't know. Okay, this is getting <laughs> to the point of just ridiculousness. 
We have Pogo. Should I go Pogo or should I go Blob Deadly? I don't really... I don't... I mean... Can he do four damage to this? I guess Pogo if he Shamrockets this is even more sad. I think I'm going Blob Deadly, guys. I don't know about this mug. I don't know what's going to happen. But this has five attack. That's a good guy. That's a good guy right there. And then we'll Pogo next turn when we have two threats on the field, theoretically. It's a 5-5. Five, five. This is going pretty well so far. I think the deadly is good here. Bro. Get wrecked. Doesn't really do anything anyway. Roar! This thing's just growing so fast. So it's gonna be Pogo. Oh, yeah. I'll activate one of these. And then if one of them dies, especially if it's the blob that dies, oh, we'll see. Try to keep the raptor alive here. This thing's an 8-4. That's crazy. Now what? Give that man a grave buster. K? Bro. <laughs> Lame. Um, okay. Well, the pogo didn't do anything. We need one of our laser bases right now. Right about now. Don't keep the team up on the field, I suppose. If you think about it, it seems like we're getting controlled, but essentially we're controlling him. I mean, look at this field. He can't do a damn thing. We're at 16 health. Gaboom. I'm probably just going to mug mix up Gravedigger him to the Ice Age. Oh, we can teleport Blob this turn. I'll consider it. Maybe I should just blob. Okay. <laughs> Double star and strongberry. Okay, this is gonna hurt. Teleport the blob does seven here. K. He's getting get the M throwing him. That one. Our pogo's dead. I mean, maybe, uh, tell, okay, so Blob does seven here. Well, that means we'll need five. I think that's good, because five we can get if we get a laser base alpha, if we get a bonus attack. I think I'm going to take the seven damage. We have two Blobs anyway. That's cool. Does this do anything? Really? Would I cycle this for a card here? Oh, I don't think so. Yeah, guys, let's try to keep the chat in general English, because then we have to moderate several languages, and it's really tough. If you want to just give a little shout-out in your language of choice to your homies, that is definitely okay. So we can go with Blob Chop. Looks pretty good. Oh, we. Oh, 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 for fudge sake. So he heals. Um, this should be fine. So it gets him down to three now. Empty block meter still. Again, using the mug after you've used these blobs, I kind of committed to that. Can I have a laser, please? These bonuses are so good. In fact, this will win in lane one. So I'm just going to go for barrel bonus. We have lethal essentially in three lanes now. One's got eight. Okay. Okay. Oh, I think we're still fine. Because we'll, we have lane... Uh... This lane. Heck yeah! Seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we're good. Roar! <laughs> Kill the little buddy! Piece of garbage! Yes, easy. Alright. 
Too bad we didn't have the uh, M3 imps for the thing. We got him, boys. That did well. That The deck performed... It's so weird. You're right. I mean, it, it's kind of cool how you can be the aggressor with a deck like this. If you're conjuring enough things, and you have your Raptor, and you have your Pogo, like, all of a sudden you're the aggressor, but... Really, you're just setting up these big blob plays. That was a very atypical game, actually. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe we found a new way of playing PvZ heroes. You just throw blobs at them, bonus attack, and hope for the best. That was pretty strange. Uh, so do we play around Cycle Cap is the question. I think we're gonna... Well, is this good, too, against Nightcap? Maybe not. I think we're gonna look for some early game. Okay, that's a lot worse. It's, like, objectively worse. <coughs> Just gonna get a cough drop. Oh. You gotta be here somewhere. What do you do? He passed? The man passed. He passed some gas. Right, how did you get huge Giganticus? A long time ago he was in the shop. He hasn't appeared in years. I don't know what we're doing. It's Cycle Cap, so. It's not Cycle Cap, so. That's a problem. We can actually laser base here. Take care of this issue. No oh, we <laughs> Yes! That's <laughs> so good. I'm just thinking, is him teaming up here even a good thing? Probably not. I think I'm gonna develop my own tempo. Rylo's the only one room, it's not true. I had to um, clear my kitchen out because they had sprayed the, the spray for bugs, whatever. So, um. So, yeah, I look like I live in a hoarder's apartment right now. I'm gonna clean that. It's Friday now. I'm gonna. It's Friday, November 12th. I'm gonna clean this up over the weekend. This went behind? What? It went behind? Guys, it went behind. Oh, come on. Do I bonus this one? Is it worth it to bonus this? Or do I deadly this? It's almost like a defensive bonus attack because it keeps his lane clock. This lane is the problem. Though. This is like just sad right now. Cheap card. That's fine. I'll definitely take it. Heck yeah. This is nice. That's it. You're the best streamer, Fry Muff. You're so nice. Fry, how old are you? I love you. I am 33. Heck yeah. What the heck is going on here? So the laser goes here. I think we're doing great. I was gonna throw two more imps too. Man, this man's mom's lanes are clogged. That dies. We conjure a. She's got her. It's not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> so we get two more imps. <laughs> I want to be ninja. And more free conjures. 
We got that card advantage, though. I just need some teleports for when he starts clearing these lanes. It's what we really need. Mix up Gravedigger. Oh, I'm doing that. Oh, I'm doing that. This and, and Deadly. This and Deadly. It's fine. This will be the best Deadly we get. Heck yeah. Oh, that's a good mug. That is a great mug. I'm 33. Did I say 34? I'm 33. I look 25. I have a lot of different sides to me. I have a side to me that I'm like 50. Like when I'm thinking about stuff de deeply, and then when I'm just dicking around and having fun and playing games, I'm basically like... I'm basically a 15-year-old girl. <laughs> I say that because it makes people upset. I don't know why I enjoy saying that. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Did the fishy imp end up here in the trade zone? That's fine, I don't have to use this deadly. We're doing five. Nice. This is free, too. <laughs> Yay! Enjoy your banana bombs. Protect the banana bomb. Blame. Banana! Alright, banana bomb that. Bitch. <laughs> uh, so we're playing this here. Should I play this, though? I kind of, like, want to kill this. <clears throat> Where these banana bombs go crazy. I kind of like this one, though, too. In fact, I'm going to play this and see if we can get something better. That we can, like, combine with laser base and has bullseye and doesn't die to banana bomb. That doesn't count, bro. <laughs> That's a fine card, but... Alright, we're going to give him with one of these. <clears throat> Can still deadly and laser him. He might have to just double banana bomb the, the mug, yeah. Crazy, man. That's crazy. If there's a second deadly, I'll go for that. If not, I'll just go for, um... I'll just play barrel barrels and see if we can. So we got, like, a final mission or something. Okay. That was cool. Um, so it's gonna be deadly. Let's see what we get. It's just gonna be a laser. Second laser. More conjures. He's not he can't be running Psy oh maybe he is running cycle cap. Wow, I just realized this was cycle cap with free. I should have saved that second environment. Whoops. Sh whoops. It's probably too late because it only has two cards, but still man. You'd have to have well, if he had exactly like Astro Super 2 Planet of the Grapes in his hands, he could Kind of just OTK us here, theoretically. But I guess the laser wouldn't really help there anyway. All right, we got to start playing these cards. <laughs> this hand is garbage still. So. Okay. <laughs> All right. We're gonna give him one of these. I think putting a bullseye here is better. But I don't know. <clears throat> what the heck? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of weird. I think defensively, we just play that. <laughs> I don't really need any <laughs> this is so weird. I don't need any of these to be deadly. I'm just like trying to get a, an actual card here that costs one. It's just has more than three attack. This one kind of did. Uh that's he needs like lucky blow now, I think. Nope. Alright, that was a bit of a grind, but we were really in control. We ended up with 12 half a block meter, so we were in control against a pretty bursty deck. Do you ever want to do new PVZero's content for the main channel? Maybe I will. I'm kind of like concentrating on like other games now. So we're, we'll keep on doing the highlight videos and then like the off weeks. I'm gonna like start doing some like uh, mobile gaming compilations. Anyway, just something I'm working on. I also have the roast. I want to get, get the gaming going and then go back to the roast as soon as possible too. 
That will be epic! Look for some early game here. That's nice. Quite nice. <laughs> Come on, Galactus. This doesn't really trade well against Galactus. Telepathy. Love that card. Heck yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah. Ah, uh, pass. Okay. Uh, we'll just spam a dinosaur. To his face! Ooh, we got the, the, the mixed-up Gravedigger combo. Man, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be really good. Could use the teleport so we can actually blob that turn. See, that would be nice. Uh, I guess teleport blob doesn't work, but maybe a turn later. What the heck is this? We can just bonus this turn. If that's what we want. Wow. I think I'm throwing in bonus is going to be the play, and then we're going to do um, mixed up grave door combo into either bonus and or or laser, probably laser. <laughs> bro, why you got to do me like that, bro? So bonus attack to remove a five four is the play. Kind of sad, but man, grizzly pair getting the value. This also, like, heals itself, which is cool. Oh, wee! Corf! I love Corf. This has got to be right. It just gives us tempo. I know the blob becomes sadder once we don't have this anymore, but... It's okay. This will actually get a free imp in the water now, too. Nice. Because this explodes. Come on, man! He also got the 5-5. Five, five. He also got the splash. Ugh. That hurt? That was bad. Quite sad indeed. I think I'm gonna do this for a card. Man, these barrel barrels are not getting the value, bro. Uh, let's see what happens here. Piece of trash garbage. California rolled. La dee da dee da. <laughs> okay. Game's, uh. We're really not behind, though, so. Double chimney sweep. What is with this? I mean, we don't have that much late game. We just don't have, really have much to do here. I don't know, man. I think we set this up. Maybe I play this one and then bonus. I think the laser is just better. What do I know? Heck yeah, it's better. Don't play Pecanal out there something stupid like that. That's fine. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Now the bonus does an extra seven next turn. That's good. Die. Oh, we're in the money. This looks fine. The heck is that? I think you forgot the set deadly. This actually lives. I think we're gonna save the bonus. When I actually does face damage. Why is he not killing this though? With like this card. Very strange indeed. Oh no wait. Oh no, it doesn't live. Whoops. I made a mistake. This throws. Please have two health. Yes. Yes, this dies. Aha! 
We're gonna chimney sweep him to death. We have an extra win condition here. Look at this. Look at this play. Bro. Bro. Equal bonus next turn. I mean, really, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So he used Walnut and he used Super, so he has Heal and Bubble. So against Bubble, five, seven. So we win, we'll have a 50 50 chance of winning if we do this. All right. But if he gets heal, then he'll be down to two, which is just as well, probably. Got okay, heal. He just says bubble left. The worst power. Blob. Player on Galacta, I suppose. Maybe that should do this here, though. Makes him have to remove this card. All right. He could have bubbled to one and lift. Maybe you're right. Do you Cali roll again? Okay. No, that's like, ah, uh, it's gonna really cost us this game, probably. Oh, man. Yeah, the deck doesn't seem to have enough high powered cards. Seems like it's struggling there. Mmm. I'm gonna teleport and see what we get here. Maybe we'll get a miracle blob or something. These pear cups, man. <laughs> My mom says shallow. Hello! Shabbat Shalom. Mother, father. Or just mother. Prevent the heal. Another barrel of barrels. Ugh. I don't, the conjures are also giving us small cards, which sort of was the point. Uh, <laughs> I don't think we're going to win this one. Clubber <sighs> huh? Snorlax. Welcome to the Primally. Thanks for subscribing Primally. Heck yeah! Wow, never lucky. Dance, why dance? You know what? We have two pots right now. We can get we can get one and get back into this game. Gosh, we're so done. Edward's so done.
Uh, I got genetic experiment from Barrel of Barrels. It is a barrel. Apparently. What was that? He didn't need to prevent the damage there at all. He wanted the sunflower for some reason. I think he should have just saved that. Come on, pot. Take my chances with the block meter here. Need some way of getting back into oh my god. <laughs> We're done. All right. Is my rabbi. I will bless you all. God bless you. I don't know. Is that what rabbis say? No, they say you have to conform or you're a piece of shit. <laughs> there. That was a good impression. That's not just rabbis, it's just everyone. It's my impression of a human being. Really nothing to do with rabbis, per se. Confor. We will control you. That works. I feel like every round we were lacking power. What do we add to this deck to make it more powerful? You may all ditch the brain vendors and add Yetis. Yeah, these would make it more powerful. Heck yeah. Laser. Were there ever 10 in no decks? Heck yeah. Nice play, bro. Nice. Actually, quite nice. I probably should have spammed this. Huh? Heck yeah! <laughs> Plank Walker? That's not a bad idea. How about two plank walkers? I kind of like the brain vendors though. I feel like the barrel barrels are not doing enough either. I'm gonna make some changes. Wow. Wow. This, this is what we need. Oh my gosh, we have the combo. Guys, it's combo time. <laughs> Squash, okay. That's <laughs> so slow. Bruh. Oh. oh, we're doing a lot of damage here. Nice walnut, bro. Dead lair. That's a lot of damage. Cryo would be fine. We're having a vote in the chat. What do you want to see? Cryo Yeti or Plank Walker? Should I Pogo here? I think Pogo is better. Just activates these. Bro. The heel. The heel. 
So do we want to trade these? I think we do. It's not doing damage anyway. Just so we can mix up Grave Digger. So much better. Better. Link Walker just for the memes. Roar! Looks like Plank Walker wins. You really think you're better? I forgot to check my lanes, but... Check your privilege, more like! Oh! Damn it, this one got blocked. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine thinking having privilege is a bad thing. 2021, stupid. You're terrible. You don't get an opinion because you, you have privilege. That's the same way of saying, I don't have empathy, so therefore you don't. Probably true. What am I supposed to do here? Yeah, this is garbage. Alright, we'll conjure cards. Conjuring is better. Oh my god! <laughs> Goodbye. See you later, Mug. What? He didn't kill the Mug? You fool. Die. Oh. We are protected! <laughs> Why did he not kill the mug? He killed him throwing him instead. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Alright. We are protected. Never gonna expect it. See, that's a good conjure. That's a good barrel of barrels right there. <coughs> oh, 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 for fudge's sake. It's fine. Oh, we. Plus, we conjure a car. Well, that doesn't die. You do. I like being protected. Give me an amphibious minion. <gasps> Are you kidding me? That is so broken, bro. It's actually uh, one cost eight six in the water. Bra, bra. That's crazy, man. Should I play around Doom Shroom? I'm gonna play around Doom Shroom. That's that. I'm sorry. That is mentally completely. No, this is not okay. That is not okay. I'm glad I didn't play this. I sure am glad. Uh, extra damage, no block meter. Screw you. Feels bad, man. Might as well add the damage, right? Okay. <laughs> no squash. No squash. Didn't think so. Didn't think so. Buster and we win. Easy. Got him anyway. 4-6 good enough. <laughs> I should put that in the highlight comp. That was pretty good. <sighs> no, don't do that. Why did I do that? It's so weird. Come, come. Ha ha ha.
Um, oh, 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 quick, before it's too late. I love this combo though so much. What has not been good? The whole deck. Just trash the whole deck. You know what? Just three plank walkers? Fine. I'm going three plank walkers. Yeah. <clears throat> How about two plank walkers, one bad moon rising? How about just three Bad Moon Rising guys? Okay, guys, vote in the chat right now. It's either three Plank Walkers or three Bad Moon Risings. The voting starts now. I think Bad Moon Rising is better here, guys. It's just my opinion. See, this is a good deck now. Yep, it's Bad Moon Rising time. I don't care. I don't care. And we're keeping the Brain Vendors. This is way better. Yes, Bad Moon Rising wins. I don't care. I'll do a Plank Walker deck on Ironically some other time. <laughs> yeah, this is perfect. Thank you so much. Labura Latino, oh, you figured out how to subscribe. Thank you so much. She's been asking for like two years. Nailed it. Welcome to the Primally. Thanks for subscribing, Primally. Okay, here we go, guys. Yay! We'll do another Plank Walker deck. Some of that. What what kind of Plank Walker deck do you guys want to see? I'll just keep these two. Why? This is good. Shut up. Die. What the heck? Ramp to Mayflower. What a play. What a play. I have no idea what to do here. I'll have to wait a little while to, to blob. We have the brain vendors and the blob all set up. Bro, should I teleport something here just so he doesn't ramp? Is that crazy? Yeah. This teleport's gonna destroy him. <laughs> you still say thanks for subscribing primarily? Bro, kind of cringe. <laughs> it is cringe, I admit it. But it rhymes. It rhymes for the love of poetry. Yeah, guys, you gotta say it every time. Okay, he squashed my two drop. Thank you very much. Good thing he ramped there, because, you know. Did he get that? He probably got that from Mayflower. Happy Thanksgiving. Remember when Mayflower came out on Thanksgiving, the first Thanksgiving? That was crazy. 
8, 11, 12. We need a bonus attack. Did I listen to Kanye West? No. Not my thing. Okay. Weirdest control deck ever. <laughs> Let's replay Mayflower. Why? Oh. Okay. Oh, we. We need a mix of grave diggers, what we need. Get blocked. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow, we have a bonus now. Like, bruh. Oh my gosh, we have a laser now. So, teleport blob bonus. This brings to 9 to 10. I mean, bah, the block meter is so weird here. It's like awkward. A block meter is like so awkward. I kind of want to just Bad Moon Rising next turn anyway, so let's do this one. <laughs> Screw winning! We can win on turn 8. We're going to have the Bad Moon Rising of the century here. In just a second. We don't even need to play any of our Brain Vendor, so we'll do the Brain Vendor play on 8. For now, we are Bad Moon Rising. Come on, Fishy, yes! So that dies, unless it gets, like, any superpower. I guess Godify. Come on, Godify! <laughs> really wants this Mayflower to live here. It's very important, guys. It's essential. You guys know what time it is. I don't even have to tell you what time it is. It is most definitely Bad Moon Rising time. It doesn't even look sus because I had a full field. I, I didn't have anything to play. It's fine. <laughs> Whoever voted, yes! And he wastes the Godify. It doesn't do anything because it turns to a new guy. A wee! A wee! Rainy days. Come on, Zombot, where are you? So we get Gargolith plus Surprise Garg. That's nice. We got Warlord. Oh, I'll take it. Now, well, it looks like this does get the value. Let's roll a one here. This happens end of turn, and this happens end of turn. So it's going to go from left to right. This is actually not going to get chomped. This is going to go in the gravestone first. Uh, and then this is going to chomp it ability, according to my calculations. Because if this had been on the left, though, this would have died. Oh, and we can still do the blob play. This is incredible. Okay, wait. So this will be five. So we'll still have six. This is beautiful, guys. Mix up Grave Digger. We can still teleport Blob. Well, we can just teleport Blob. And bonus attack if he Grave Flick something. I don't know. <laughs> the play's just laser base alpha. No! Okay. So wait, this was 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh yeah, the blob actually does something here. This is great. Now it's 6. Plus, I don't know, this is good. We, we could just... No, this is cleaner because laser he could actually block. Now he can't block at all. Die! <laughs> 16 attack. Not bad. Not bad at all. Die. Yes, easy. What a great deck this this turned out to be. <laughs> we didn't need that blob at all. That's all I'm trying to say. Right, I just recycled all my super rares and legendaries for fireweed and wingnut for solar flare aggro. Is that a good idea? I don't know if wingnut and and fireweed are the most essential cards in that deck, though. The main thing you want are the pumpkins and the astracados. Are more important. Elderberries. Blooming heart. 
Those are the essential cards. Wing that, you can just run Bloomerang. Zombie Crusher? This guy's cocky. Okay, we have the chimney on one. Now what is he gonna do? This is definitely a control card, guys. This is just gonna be Cyclotron, or whatever it's called. Countertron. Bro! Get controlled! The answer! The answer. It's fine. <laughs> okay, so we get three free M's. Thank you so much for that. That was beautiful. And it kills the walnut. Oh my gosh, this play. This play right now. <laughs> get wrecked. What is he thinking going garlic with a walnut? It's just going to ping my block meter anyway. What was the play? We're going to get uh, fishy M. Come on. Or toxic. Even just any 2-2 two -two here would be so good. Yes! Oh my god! <laughs> Corv! Corv, so, such a good card. Yeah, I'll play around Blockbuster and put this here. Maybe we want this to get Blockbusted though, from the Triceratops. Heck yeah. Bruh! Bruh! <laughs> so weird. Um, so I could take this out. I probably just want a Pogo Mug. I have no idea. He's probably not running Blockbuster, but what do I know? I don't know what to believe. This is a 3-nut deck, probably. Heck yeah! It's mug time. Brain Vendor mug? There's no point. He could have, he has a one drop, he has a blockbuster, he could take these two out. Bri, do you watch Big Mouth? I watched the first two seasons, I saw a third one and just came out, so... Maybe I'll watch it? <sighs> I think I just cringe in general at the worlds, especially the West, especially the Christian-influenced ideas of sexuality in general. I just cringe at them completely, so... I think that's why I'm a little reluctant to watch that show. Sex is dirty. No, it's not. No, it's not. That's a stupid idea. What a terrible idea. No, it's not. Scott. Three and three looks good. I this one? This one? No. This one. Maybe it was this one. Is it season five? Oh, okay. That shows you how much I know. <coughs> Bro! Bring Nana, man. I wasn't expecting that out of a garlic deck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You guys know what I'm saying. So these trade. Ugh. Disgusting. Okay, there's, there goes our blob. We do have a heck of a baboon rising here, though. As long as he doesn't have another brain in, I won't be fine. There's five seasons of that show? Okay. Well, I've watched two two of them. Uh, I find most shows to be cringe, to be honest. I just don't. I'm living in the wrong culture. <laughs> I just find Western culture to be super cringe for most things. Not lying. So we could go like 3 3 and 1. Or we can also just Bad Moon Rising right now. Probably Bad Moon Rising before the dragon happens.
No forget-me-nuts, though, please. Okay. This is still a great tempo play. It sets up the laser for next turn pretty well. We'll see what we can actually get here. Here comes the bunny. <laughs> Double undying Pharaoh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's probably not good. We're not at risk of dying. We just need tempo, so... I mean, they're four sixes. Okay. <laughs> Please... He, that's perfect. We wanted this one to be here. I don't know what's going on. We, I think we can chop the dragon is going to be the play. So otherwise we can actually teleport this card in. Well, better this way. Better. Meteor. Starf. Jeez. Fire. Yeah, if we get like a tennis champ. Oh, come on. That just pings the block meter a lot. Teleport. I mean. Wow, and this dies. This is so bad. I don't know what to do here. We're we're done. We're done, man. I guess we'll we'll know the egg doesn't do a damn thing here. Okay, whatever. We kind of need a bonus. Maybe we'll block and get super and like win like that. But he has full block meter now. I I don't think we're gonna win this. Bad moon rising at all. I think we need like a miracle. A miracle super here, which is doable. But I mean, that's it. it. We have to. We have to just roll a one. That's our chance of winning right now. And him not have an answer to this. <laughs> it's looking kind of bleak. With all these superpowers he has, he has to not be able to not not be able to do two damage here. Okay. Alright. Or mog it or go to fight it. Or have time to shine. Just wins instantly. <laughs> but he could have no answers and then we roll a one on this play. And we only have to use one trick, so it's still it's still winnable. Come on! Come on! God damn it! Ah! Uh, did he roll double ones there? What happened? He just did a a da no. He didn't do the da oh. He didn't do the damage yet. This is still the Sporticus is still pending. Okay. But we still don't have anything. We need a double threes. Eh. <laughs> Alright, we're four and two. Damn, we bat moon rising there. How did we just block? What? What? We had half a block meter there. How did we just block? I'm checking the YouTube stream. There must have been a visual glitch. That's crazy, though. The block meter is clearly at half. The starfruit attacks and we block. No, wait. The starfruit only did one damage? Wait a second. No, we're at four health. The Sporticus does two, we're down to two. Starfruit has two attack. Starfruit hits us in two lanes. Oh, it's because of the Undying Pharaoh. Oh, okay, the Undying Pharaoh died from the Starfruit, so therefore the Starfruit in the other lanes only did one damage because it couldn't bring us down to zero. And then we blocked the Guacodile. Oh my gosh. Okay, but that is kind of weird that the... Undying Pharaoh, even though it dies in lane one, it still blocks the damage in lanes two and five. It's very weird. 
I don't get that card. I guess its death has to be resolved in that boat, that attack itself. It's like strike through. A strike through versus undying pharaoh does not kill. Even if the damage is enough to kill the undying pharaoh. So I guess it makes sense. <coughs> cool. Call. Girl. I don't know about this. <laughs> he died, but he still lived on. That's the real Undying Pharaoh. Hence the name. Game mechanics being weird, yeah? So even on 4, this does 8, 16 damage on turn 4, man. As long as he doesn't have, like, a shamrock. Could have won if you placed the strike through on lane two. Oh. The starfruit killed the raptor though. Well. How would you make yourself as a card? I don't know. I haven't really given it much thought, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, it's pogo time. By the way, Phonecast raided me yesterday while I was playing like Clash Mini. I was doing some variety no, games. Prize Big Nut. Yay, I'm so happy. You're my favorite nut. Three months, let's go. Man, it's on a streak. Three month streak. Let's go. Oh he forgot to press the button. Yeah, Plankwalker would have been. Bad Moon Rising was clearly better than Plank Bay. It's time for Pogo Bun. Time for Pogo This guy just doesn't have insane shamrockets and all that. He's getting on. La 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 <laughs> Why is he roping, bro? You're so annoying. La 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 what song is this that I'm singing? <sighs> oh, wee! Okay. That's a lot of damage. Can you please not set up a Cali roll? Just roll it too. Be nice boy. Be nice boy. Very nice boy. Be nice boy. Yes, that's fine. I think I'm just gonna go for the win here now. If he has Doom Shroom. Ooh! We actually don't even die to Doomstream anymore because we have teleport now. This is five, eight, nine. This is like game winning here. <coughs> Spellport blah bonus to take. Heck yeah. I think I made a mistake. I think it was to play it here and then this goes here or something. I can also just just bonus. Uh, I'll probably bonus this one. Oh, wee! Whoa! Oh. Swash. So he base needs, well, super heal doesn't do anything. Walnut and super will save him. Bubble also saves him. What did he use? We haven't seen a power yet. Uh, so him getting heal exactly would make us win here. 
All the other things. Save him. Maybe he got healed. I don't know what the heck happened that game. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Fry living in his kitchen. I had to clear my kitchen out, so it's all sitting just on a table here. Uh, it, they sprayed for bugs. I'll put everything back tonight and tomorrow. Just a pain in the tush, actually. They're right. They're right. I'll take this on one. <laughs> you just noticed all you can eat buffet in the background. We have spices! Italiano! My good friends! I will give you all the spices you need. I don't know I don't know what accent that is. It's my Italian accent. Man, Triceratops, he let that space time conjure, which I'm not a big fan. <coughs> Wow, that's cool. Do I go imp throwing imp or do I go with the gay? Gay keeper. I like gay keeper better. Should we do a No Nut November video this year? Do you feel like you can tank some human interaction during the stream? What does tank mean? <clears throat> Like, not do it well? Bro! Okay, well, I don't know if it's deadly. <sighs> Tanka. Fry, you're like my father. I'll take that as a compliment. Everyone here calls me daddy anyway, so... What do I know? Bunch of no good nicks. Hi, welcome back. Fill it up. Oh, I'm going to fill you up. Oh. I don't know, yeah, I think it does fill up my human interaction a little bit. I just like real people. I'm lonely. I need a girlfriend. <laughs> real. I have a pretty good Italian accent, probably not gonna lie. I have the best Italian accent! <laughs> That's so stupid. This is the only thing I know how to say in Italian. Yeah. <coughs> oh, I'm just gonna pogo mug this guy till he dies of pogo mug. Then we'll teleport blood bonus attack. I actually have a new way of sc screen mirroring. I can share it with you guys. Here, here's the video. Is the sound is coming or not? Wait, no, bad. Here, this video explains how to screen mirror from any Android, even not a, not a side sync. It's a little complicated. You gotta download all this stuff, so just follow the instructions one at a time. Don't skip anything like I did. Yeah, well, that's getting bound, so you know how it is. You know how we do it up here in in Dallas, or I don't know where we are. Is this Dallas? Is this Dallas? Did this come from Captain Jewcumber? No, he's just running it. A see ya. Run! Run away! Run! Such good voice lines. I can hear Mussolini rotating in his- turning over in his grave. Rotating in his grave! I don't know what to do. I don't even know what to do. You think I know what to do? 
So we can just win. If not, teleport blob bonus egg just wins next turn. Easies! Uh oh, it's six and two. We're getting close, guys. We are slowly approaching a seven and two scenario. <laughs> no, shut up, Saman. No blockbusters. No, shut up. Cucumber and space time? I think they're balanced. I don't think there's anything off there. <coughs> Cucumber is. Space time has to hit face. And cucumber doesn't have to hit face. Plus, cucumber's a plant. Plants gotta cost more. Because they have last say. It's a thing. Imagine space time had last say. That would be broken. Broken as. Broken as fudge. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, that's fine. Play. There's nothing this trades well against. Play a Bonk Joy. Oh, that's fine. I forgot about party time. Love draw cards. Oh my gosh, this curve just turned into whoa, that's a curve now. Whoa, that's a actually perfect starting hand. Can't complain about that. Oh, is that Savage Mint? Oh, it was Savage Mint. The Discord. The Discord deck. Heck yeah, Corv. Heck yeah. I'm just gonna ignore this party time now. It's kind of garbage. Sword of garbage. Bar. Oh we. Oh we. Give me a swabby. Tennis champ. Is that good? Can't tell if it's good. Oh, we got teleport blob bonus for six. That's like a perfect turn six play. I like Pogo Mug teleport blob bonus. It's the wombo combo. Young guys. I think I need a brain vendor right now. Meteor. <laughs> Your dad is meteor. Super Meteor kills us anyway. Super kills it anyway. And we'll play around in Biggin. Did he just Meteor? Oops. That's fine. Now Meteor actually doesn't kill this. I don't know if that was right. Probably not. Maybe that was, though. Did he just play Meteor? I'm really spaced out. I think he played Berry Blast. I don't remember. I'm no PVZ Heroes expert. I think because of how difficult this is going to be to kill here, I don't think we muck. I think we bonus attack. We laser bonus. This is a nightmare. Four damage? No! Bro! You're so stupid, bro. Get a freaking life, man. Come on, man. So stupid. <laughs> so stupid. So this does six. The burn my teleport now. Lame. It does four. It's actually a lot of damage. But of course he rolled a two and a three. La di da di da. <coughs> Worst legendary in the game? Probably want to be hero.
I don't even know what's going on right now. Such a stupid bonus attack. That was the last thing that could have made him actually win this game. Now he's dead as hell. Teleport blob laser or bonus looks really good. Watch him just clear this field now. That's so freaking stupid, bro. Come on, man. It's so stupid. It's so stupid, bro. He missed on the Torchwood. So dumb. Please don't do anything. He used his time to shine already. Idiot. Get wrecked. Seven and two. Gosh, that game was so, so frustrating. <laughs> Here are Pete Moss combos versus guaranteed lethal. He brain nanas against essentially guaranteed lethal. Jeez. All the answers, man. All right, guys. That's why you play proactively and not reactively. You do not know how to play zombies, man. If you play proactively, you lose. Especially in those types of scenarios, bro. That is like the losing strat for literally every zombie deck. That's why Smash is not so great. Do not play proactively as zombies. You gotta teleport stuff. Just gonna get removed. Guys, it's a 7 and 2 situation. Where's the emotes? Where's all the subscribers at? Let's go. Let's go. Good card against Grass Knuckles. Really? Okay. Hey. <laughs> 7 and 2 scenario. The stream is draining my soul. <laughs> the three for one? I'll definitely take it. See, the cool thing about the Sim Throwing Imp is that if he leaves it, it'll draw, it'll throw two cards around the field, and if he upgrades it, we just deadly, and we get another two for one. I'll definitely take it. The other play I can go with is this. Is that better? Just so we can develop another card. I can go O three and one. I think I like it. I think I like it. Him throwing imp was a great play though. So it's just him throwing imp, and I guess we could put this here. Slam's table, give me seven and two. That's right. Heck yeah. He's going for a leapy synergy. You know if he upgrades this, it doesn't work. I, I think we gotta count that, guys. We were ahead. We were definitely ahead. We had a mug coming in hot. We had card advantage, despite his leafy synergy. No, that counts as a win, guys. Eight and two. Very anticlimactic. <laughs> Nothing in this stream was really normal, though. Thank you so much, Chicken Gossip, for 13 months. Heck yeah. All right, guys, that was the Conjure Super Brains. This was good. I feel like really actually adding the Bad Moon Risings unironically made the deck better. We just, it seemed like the deck did everything right, but then kind of fell short. I think better even than Bad Moon Risings would be three Yetis. 
I would almost find room for a fourth yet. He may take you take out like one him throwing him for like one bonus attack, because you have an extra bonus with super brains anyway. Something like that. But then the Yeti is better. This was this was fine. This was a great this this the I mean the deck really did perform well. Hope you guys enjoyed. That was amazing. <laughs> Definitely going on YouTube. Peace. This is Fry.